If you have a crimson belly conure, would you then add a green cheek or a white capped pionis to your flock, especially if you already, I re, as I recall, have a budgie. Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrot Bliss Bond. I have 22 species of parrots. I love parrots. Parrots are my bliss. If you love parrots, if you want to get inspired, if you want to learn one or two little things, I might know 22 things, maybe a couple more, then welcome. This is Ale, short for Ale Brige. If you are already subscribed and used to hanging out, you've probably already set your preferences so YouTube lets you know usually when a video uploads the next day. Let's get started. Hey guys, so I had someone ask, they have a crimson belly conure and they're looking at adding another member to their flock. I believe they also have a budgie or two, um, but the idea is that the question is kind of like about the crimson belly conure and giving the crimson belly conure a friend. Now, um, I will say that crimson belly conures are pretty mellow in comparison to green cheeks. Maybe not super duper, but my daughter agrees. Crimson belly conures are a little more low key. I would say they're a little quieter. I don't know if that's a completely accurate statement. I think they are. I would say they're they're less aggressive. Um, I might say they're a little less active. Like I feel like green cheeks are a little more of dynamite. <laughs> Uh, than a crimson belly conure. Now, Ale, who I hope is in focus, um, he is very different. First of all, with a green cheek conure, you are looking at $400 to, you know, almost 2000 depending on the colors. With a parrot like Ale, a pionis, and Ale, who's not looking at the camera for you, that's better. Um, Ale is a white crowned pionis, and if you can find him, he's about 3,000. If you can find him, really hard to find. I was trying to look for a mate for him, no such luck so far. There's like, like everyone's like, good luck. You're not gonna find one. I, I kind of think it's a little miracle that we got Ale, really. Um, now, Ale is pretty easy going. And actually, I don't know how much I would say he's like a budgie, but I'm gonna say that he's like a budgie or cockatiel as far as being pretty mellow goes. He's like looking out the window, seeing what's out there. Um, I have not seen him display aggressive behavior towards other parrots. Actually, he had been housed with some parrotlets and he was doing really well with them. Uh, he has a little buddy and really likes her. They preen each other. Sometimes they feed each other. Right now he's not with them because he got injured yesterday or the day before. And yesterday I uploaded a video on that. Ale is very awesome, mellow, relatively quiet. You can hear his sound. Um, not needy, not um, like almost not your typical parrot. He's gorgeous. Not that that is a characteristic for parrots, but you know what I mean? Um, he is interested in me. He likes being with me, but he is not dependent on me, at least not so far. I've had him for about half a year, a little more. <laughs> Beep. He, I put him on my shoulder and he and I go for walks and he does fantastic. We love it. I'm trying to get him trained on a harness because right now he came with his wings clipped so they haven't grown back out. But my my first choice is always not to clip and so I, I wanna be able to continue to walk him even after his wings grow out. But check him out. I mean, you know, if he wasn't injured, I would actually consider taking him to Starbucks. I love um, taking parrots with me everywhere I go. So I actually got a birdie backpack in part just for him so that I could take him with us when we went to Naples 
for a night over the Christmas holiday and we did uh, and he did really well you could see he's interested he's curious but he's just easy compared to most parrots as far as noise goes as far as temperament goes um, he's not very messy either he's easy because he doesn't get supplemental nuts or anything like that so super easy I don't think you can exactly go wrong with a green cheek or a pionis given that the person who asked has a crimson I would say that the green cheek is a closer relative and therefore you know it's possible that that's going to be more of a match made in heaven kind of thing they're going to be buds more easily with Ale um you know that could be really phenomenal as well like I said he's really good friends with um the parrotlets but he's not going to be as bonded Conyers are really bonded parrots they and I don't think there's an exception at least I've never I've never run across one I've never heard of one I describe Conyers as being bonded at the cheek and it might be the hip but they are kind of more physical touch oriented they're they cuddle they're you know they're more affectionate Ale is not lacking affection but uh, Conyers are some of the most affectionate I would say Conyers and cockatoos so he isn't in those categories and so he's not as affectionate so that crimson bellied conure falls under that affectionate category and in that sense a green cheek conure may be a better match because it's more of a personality match uh a pionis is going to be really awesome i would just make sure that the crimson isn't aggressive with the pionis in any way again because what i have seen in ale is that he's not aggressive and I just don't know how good he would be at defending himself when my hawk head jumped on him you know I it, if I hadn't been right there to stop them right away I think it would have been much worse so um he's not you know he's just not a kamikaze soldier he is a peace loving monk kind of thing there you go this is a monk if the embodiment of a monk in a parrot if if you can find a pionis man scoop them up they're phenomenal just phenomenal Ale has quickly really made a place in my heart and um made a place for his whole species in my heart to the point to where I really would love to I'm like having another one would be awesome and for him to have one of his own kind is always something I'm really into so so there you go on what it might be like if you get a green cheek for the second con uh, bird or a pionis for the second bird. If you could find a pionis, I would get both. The green cheek for the crimson and the pionis for me. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Thank you for joining me in this blissful pionis monk embodied into a parrot video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please post below. I love reading about your questions and comments. And until next time, we'll catch you when the feathers fly.